Hello, my name is Gertrude, and I'm a developer advocate in the developer relations team at Click. In this video, I'm going to be talking about six things you might not know about Click CLI. Now, just a reminder, Click CLI, known on the command line simply as Click, is the command line interface for Click Cloud, and it provides access to all public APIs through the command line. It makes it easy for you to perform administrative tasks. Now, let's get started. First is the alias command. The alias command is a customizable command that enables you to create short names for commands that are not easy to remember. For example, if you want to list 50 items, you would call click item ls limit 50. Instead, you can create an alias i or use any other word that makes it easy for you to remember. To do this using i, you can call click alias i item ls limit 50. Therefore, the next time you want to list 50 items, you simply call click i. To see existing aliases, call click alias ls. And for more details, call click alias help. Second is the edit command. This command fetches the resource and opens it in your integrated development environment IDE. This is most likely the editor defined by your editor environment variable or fallback to V for Linux or Notepad for Windows. To demonstrate this, I will use spaces and that is why I start by listing my spaces in order for me to get the space ID. Once copied, I will use the command click space edit and the space ID. The resource will be updated according to the changes made in the editor. I will not make any and it updates upon saving. Next is the row command. This is an advanced command that can be used to send HTTP API requests to Click Cloud. To demonstrate this, I will use click row get v1 items. Once code, this command will return the full response from the saver, including pagination links, as you can see. Note that the row command can be used for any public API in Click Cloud and not only the ones natively supported in Click CLI. Number four is the verbose flag. The verbose flag can be used to get detailed information regarding a request and response. And to do this, I will use click app create and add V at the end. As you can see, I get detailed information about the click app create command. In comparison, I would use the same command without the V. As you can see, with V, you get detailed information like set headers, and without V, no extra information. You can see that it's very similar to what you get when you use the V flag with curl. Number five is the quiet flag. The quiet flag or Q is used for chaining of commands. For example, to get the last updated app, you can call click app lsq, and that's basically listing the IDs of the apps that you have access to. And then you use this next command, which actually has an alternative, and I will show that. And what you're essentially doing here 
is taking the first app ID in the list. And finally, you get the app meta for that app ID. If the first command doesn't work, you can try using head n1. And it basically does the same thing, that is taking the first app ID in the list. As you can see, you get the same result. The sixth interesting thing about click CLI that you might not have known is auto-completion. The auto-completion provided in click CLI does not only auto-complete the non commands, but also can be used to list the resources ID used for specific commands. If you have configured auto-completion in your shell, you can use tab to, for instance, go through space IDs. Completion should be added after click CLI installation. You can see a, a tutorial on how to add completion, which will be listed in the description below, as well as a link to the community blog post that also outlines these six things that you might not have known about Click CLI. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let us know what you think and follow us on Twitter for more updates. Bye for now.